Um, I think that's a difficult question. Uh, you can talk about it for hours and hours. At least I could talk for a very long time about uh, impact. I think the first important thing is we have to distinguish between academic impact and societal impact because these are not the same. Uh, and I think as a researcher, we are quite familiar with academic impact. We know what it means. Often it's linked to uh, to publishing in highly ranked uh, peer-reviewed uh, journals. Uh, and that's, of course, a very impo important tool to make sure that we are uh, we are out there as a scientist and that our, uh, that our research is in line with uh, important quality criteria. So that's academic impact. It's also, of course, giving talks at academic conferences, uh, building up networks with other researchers from other uh, European countries and even outside Europe, of course. And then the other thing is, of course, societal impact, which is not the same. And uh, we are now involved in a European project on co-creation. Uh, co-creation basically refers to collaboration with diverse stakeholders uh, that enables uh, the increase of societal impact of your research. So basically the question is, uh, what do we achieve by doing this research and how can we help society with this research? So and I think that's another issue. It's a very trending issue um, uh, to work on societal impacts, but there are still uh, lots of challenges that we have to tackle because of course societal impact can mean uh, very different things according to the discipline. For some it's opening up a museum about uh, medieval history. Uh, in psychology it can be related to developing a smartphone application for measuring stress reactivity, uh, for example. So there are very, very diverse examples of, of, of societal impact and, uh, and uh, we still have a lot of work to do to see how we can enable uh, research to achieve societal impact.